Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today. Sasha here, and today is June 10th, and that is day 10 in the month of iced tea celebration, y'all. And today, I finally got off my lazy butt, only for a moment, well, we'll see, um, for tomorrow's video what I have in stock. But for today, I decided to lay off the ready-made teas and get into, getting back into, rather, um, brewing my own tea. And folks, this came as a shocker of great value, which is Walmart brand. But yeah, I saw this at my local Walmart, um, strawberry hibiscus herbal tea. And y'all, I did not think that great value had um this type of tea uh really hibiscus not many tea companies delve into making hibiscus uh tea bags but this came as a shocker um shucks i got this while you know in orlando when i was working so I for, I definitely don't know the price, y'all. Forgive me on that. And um, you get 20 tea bags. I'm trying to think if there's a description. There isn't. But um, you get 20 tea bags. They come individually wrapped. Pretty neat. I'll show y'all what an individually individually wrapped tea bag looks like. Pretty nice. I don't know of any other flavors. Well, at least unique flavors that I would want to purchase, but I'll, I'll probably be going back to um, Walmart soon for food shopping. We definitely don't need to as of this moment. So, you know, I could just chill on the um, strawberry, or I could chill on uh, tea for a while because I got plenty of tea that we could go through together throughout the remainder of this month. But, yeah, y'all, I'm still, um, I was interested. I know that Republic of Tea has their full line of hibiscus. I think they were one of the forerunners in making, like, a really expanded on hibiscus line. Let me know in the comment section below if I'm wrong, but that's what I remember. That's where at least I first tried hibiscus tea was through Republic of Tea, but... Yeah, um, great value, stepping it up, thinking outside the box. Kudos to them. So, folks, um, they actually do have instructions. However, I did not, um, look at them because this is for flash chilling. And y'all know how I do mines. If I could, if I can, like, sense um or not sense but if i can like make time to do cold brewing I, that's what i'll opt for unfortunately i only did it for one cup like if i wanted to do cold brew i'd have to do it with the pitcher of the iced tea especially if i love it so you know if i want another cup of uh hibiscus or strawberry hibiscus iced tea i'd have to flash chill for this one but folks i was able to do a cold brew and to quickly recap, cold brew, two bags of tea, um, or depends however, like, if you want to make a big jug, if you want to make a one glass, if you want to make something in between, you get the necessary amount of tea bags to correlate with the amount of tea you want to use, and you let it steep in room temperature water or cold water um for at least four hours or more um rule of thumb it's better to do it overnight so around eight hours if you have eight hours to spare i think i did mine because i let mine sit for 10 this morning and it's now five so almost eight hours but I wanted to shoot this video now because I got another video to shoot very much later on. Um, 
Yeah, you just let the tea bag and water do its magic for at least four hours. Eight hours is best. And um, when you're ready to drink it, pull it out. Have your cup of ice ready or whatever you're going to drink from. Have it with a cup of ice or you can drink it straight since it's been in the fridge for a, a large amount of time and you just enjoy. That's the trick to cold brewing. The benefits of cold brewing versus flash chilling is that your tea has a smoother taste. When you flash chill something, you kind of get like a acidic kind of tang to your tea, which... You know, it can't be helped because you're, you know, rising the temp and then cooling it immediately after. So you're doing something to the temperature and the physical characteristics of tea rather than letting it slowly um, infuse over time. So you do what you want. The benefits of flash chilling is you could have the iced tea quick, fast, in a hurry. So yeah, if I'm really feeling this tea, y'all... Definitely going to flash chill something for dinner, um, with dinner, excuse me, tonight. And then, um, may just have a picture of this stuff. But I don't think I could find this in my Ocala Walmart. Uh, fingers crossed, I hope I can. But that's enough talking, y'all. Um, here's what the product looks like. Looks just like cranberry juice, y'all. That's the beauty of hibiscus tea. You could you could fool your guests into thinking it could be juice, but it's not. <laughs> so yeah, um, I let this I let two bags of the iced tea, or excuse me, two bags of the tea, cold brew in like a milk frothing pitcher, um, pretty much full. I think it was uh, a little under twelve ounces. Let that chill for seven hours and poured it over some ice gucci so folks <clears throat> excuse me that's why i didn't read the instructions because i did it differently but ingredients are as follows before i take a sip um hibiscus rose hip blackberry leaf orange peel roasted chicory natural flavor chamomile th uh, dried strawberry excuse me dried cherry and that's about it. All right. Gluten-free. Cool. All righty, folks. So enough jibber-jabber. We're going to have this first unsweetened or no additional sweetener. Um, and then I have some good old great value stevia on deck. But we'll sweeten it afterwards. Okay. So here we go. This is strawberry hibiscus herbal tea cold brewed. Unsweetened. Cheers, y'all. Definitely taste that dried cherry more than the dried strawberry. <laughs> Still really tart. I'm trying to think alongside with the cherry, what is the culprit? Maybe the chicory root. Got a little bit of earthiness to it, too, y'all. Um, and I will also mention with the tea bags, it's great value, y'all. There's no um, rhyme or reason to the tea bags. It's bleached, tagged tea bags. And, um, you know, it is what it is with that. I'm so used to Republic of Teas unbleached or David's Teas uh, sachets which are unbleached, but a uh, little bit of a twang with that, even cold brewed. So, folks, I'm going to go ahead and give it a little sweetness. I didn't bring a straw. Awesome me, forgot to. So we'll just give it a little squirt of the stevia. What I love about stevia, y'all, is that a little goes a long way. I'm just going to gently agitate it with my hand. Not hopefully not to spill it. Cause I just vacuumed my floor. But yeah, a little stevia goes a long way. I'm here for it. Um I just like the liquefied drinks. 
so or liquefied drinks. <laughs> that is so silly. The liquefied sweeteners, so liquid cane sugar, liquid stevia, liquid monk fruit. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah, that's that's the ones that I want. That's the ones that I like to have in the house. And um, they also have liquid Splenda or liquid sucralose, but uh, maybe when I was unaware of situations. So yeah, I think that ought to be enough time between when I put the stevia in and agitating it should be well incorporated throughout the drink. So here we go, folks. This is Great Value Strawberry Hibiscus Herbal Tea now with a splash of stevia. Cheers. too much it's still a weird twang to it and i'm willing to bet it's from that bleach tea bags but you know they what they do boast um, as i'm looking at it is that the tea bags are staple free i, mean, I can read that they're staple free but uh don't know if it's just the tea bag like the fact that it's bleached is throwing me off but yeah folks the sweetness kind of cuts off, cuts that twang off a little bit, but it, no, I still get it. Well, with that being said, y'all, let's just go ahead and give the verdict, shall we? So, in the case of Great Value Strawberry Hibiscus Herbal Tea, caffeine-free with other natural flavors, um, cold brew, first, we will give the verdict on the unsweetened portion, then the sweetened portion. So for this tea, unsweetened, out of my rating scale of good, okay, bad, I would rate this tea, uh, I'd, rate, I'd rate it uh, okay, an okay. And yeah, the reason for that being is just that weird twang of, um, I don't know how to describe it to y'all, but I kind of, attempted to describe it to y'all um yeah i think it's from the tea bag bleaching um don't like it i mean the hibiscus flavor and the fruit flavor is there i won't say the strawberry flavor was there completely but the cherry flavor was there yeah i know if you put berries well Strawberry and cherry, they're both berries. So, I mean, eh. My argument is moot now that I think about it. But the cherries um, were more domineering than the strawberries. And it's like, well, mm, maybe you should have called it cherry hibiscus. In which case, you know, I think that that would be a good premise as uh, I don't think Republic of Tea has a cherry hibiscus variety so yeah y'all that's my two thoughts on it but hey i'm just i'm just a consumer you know i'm probably just one person that has that sentiment so i i'm not really um to I'm, I, I i would i didn't dock points on the fact that cherry flavor and yeah it like i said before y'all it has more of an earthy taste to it and I'm guessing that's from the chicory root. Chicory. Or it, I don't think it's earthy. I think floral is what I'm looking for. Which, but Sasha, hibiscus is a flower. Yes, I know. But I mean, like, I don't really like the taste of rose hips and um, chamomile. But... The hib hibiscus taste is pretty good. Um, I mean, yeah, it's an okay, but I think it's more because of the fact that it's a bleached tea bag and it's got a weird taste to it. Um, 
What else do I want to say, y'all? Um. Okay, so in regards to strawberry hibiscus, um, in regards to strawberry hibiscus and um, sweetening it with some stevia. Out of my rating scale of good, okay, bad, I would give it. I would give it a. It's a better okay, but it's still an okay. I was fixing my mouth to say good, y'all. <laughs> but no, I, I, I'm I still going to rate it okay, but it's kind of borderline-ish. Could be, could be good, could be, um, but, you know, I, I don't know what's up with that taste. I will try this flash chilled, and maybe I'll do like a addendum or something. But, yeah, it's just this weird taste I'm getting. And um, if it comes through in the flash chilling method, then it's a component in the tea that I don't like. But, um, yeah, I mean, the sweetness took out some of that twang that I tasted from the unsweetened portion. But it's still there. And, um, yes, this had the potential to be great, but... Um, you know, it, 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 since I'm so used to loose leaf and making my own tea, it's like, uh. <laughs> yeah, now I'm kind of critical on regular tea bags. Um, but yeah, uh, I would say to try this sweetened over unsweetened. And then, um,. I mean, I'm always going to push for cold brewing first, but if at all I could do flash chilling and it tastes better, hey, I'll let y'all know too. So yeah, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of the month of iced tea celebration 2020, day 10 down, got 20 more days to go, oh my goodness. But, um, yeah, don't go anywhere, folks. I do have Wellness Wednesday coming up. Bear with me, y'all. Bear with me because, um, I'm gonna try to get Wellness Wednesday, um, said and done before nightfall in terms of shooting. I don't know about editing and having it uploaded by then. Like, we'll see. No promises. But definitely shooting. I want to have it done before nightfall because we're supposed to have some bad rain already circling the area and um don't know don't know how that's gonna play off but yeah thank you all for tuning in really appreciate you stopping on by any questions comments suggestions or small talk don't be a stranger leave it in the comment section below any and all are welcome. Greatly appreciated. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the products I try and the reviews I push out. And until then, my friends, this is Sasha signing off. So take care. Take it easy. Make it a great day today and every day. And I will see you very shortly for Wellness Wednesday. And I'll see you tomorrow for some more tea sipping and drink sampling. So until then, take care and bye now.